Hey neighbor, in this video, I showed you how you can manage projects using Trello. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can manage teams using Trello. So let's do it. But before we get started, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to comment, hey neighbor, I am watching from the country you're watching me from. For example, hey neighbor, I am watching from Ghana. I am watching from Kenya. I am watching from the US. I am watching from Nigeria. I want to know where my digital neighbors are watching me from okay secondly i need you to subscribe to the channel if you are yet to subscribe because we need to hit 100k sub very importantly and every click counts all right and finally i need you to like this video so it can reach a wider audience yes those are favors i know i said favor <laughs> thank you so much so let's get started so the first thing you want to do is to head to your computer now and sign up on trello if you don't have an account on trello right just it's free okay so once you've signed into your trello account what you want to do is to come here and say create and click on create board here you want to give your board a title let's say the infanakman's team infanakman's team right then you click on create so the first thing we want to do let's say I hired Elizabeth and Paul. So I'm going to come here and say Elizabeth. You click on, okay, let me say Elizabeth's task. You click on add list. I'm going to say here Paul, Paul's task. You click on add list. All right. And then the next thing we want to, the next list we want to create is ready for review ready for review you click on add list and then the next list is projects completed all right so let's say you were hired as a project manager this is going to be your work as a project manager va or you were yeah as a project manager or as a project manager va this is going to be your work you're going to be the one doing this all right you're going to be the one handling this or the owner of the business can say, okay, don't worry, I'm going to handle this aspect myself. The next thing we're going to do is to assign tasks to these people, is to assign tasks to my assistant, Elizabeth and Paul. So let's assign the first task to Elizabeth. You're going to click on add card and we're going to come here and say research. Please stay with me. Research potential uh competitors or competition in the market all right so i'm not just going to leave this the way it is if elizabeth comes here and see research she'll be confused so to project to provide more context to this particular task that is assigned to her, I'm going to add description. So you want to click on the task and come here where it says description. I'm going to add more details to help her do this task. So I'm going to say on that description, find at least, at least five competitors. Yeah, find, find at least five competitors, list their websites, right? pricing and features on a google sheet all right this provide more context to it but it's not going to end there let me click on save now it's not going to end here i'm going to also add the dates for the task deadline i'm going to take this today is 27 i'm going to take I'm going to take this to Saturday 30th and I'm going to click on save. So that's the deadline for Elizabeth on this particular task. So to add another task, you click on add a card and do the same thing. So for this task, we're going to say draft company, company profile uh, document. Then I'll head to the tax again, open it, and go to description and add more context to this particular task for Elizabeth. I'm going to say one page before she will go and write the piece to one page PDF with company company mission 
Fisher and short bio for about us session or page. Okay, so if there is a sample photo, I would like her to take cognizance of. I'll just come here and click on image and add the image. If there's a link I want her to go through, I'll do the same thing by coming here, clicking on the link and adding the link right here for her. I will hyperlink it. So there are other things as well that you can explore, other features as well you can explore right here. Here you can add labels. I covered all of this in this video on the screen. So you want to check that out. You can also add checklists. So let's move on to the next person stacks, which is poor. For poor, I'm going to do the same thing. I will come here and say create, create a content calendar for next month. Right? That's four task. I'm going to add more description. I'm going to add a description for the task. I'm going to say plan eight social media post with captions and images or image ideas in Google Sheets. Oops, my social. Look at my media. It's weird. Okay, so that's it for Paul's task. So the same process, I'm going to add deadline. For Paul, I'm going to say the 31st. I'm going to say set reminder. Let's use two days before the deadline. Click on save. So to add labels, all you want to do is to click on labels. And these are different labels that you can use. All right, so you want to click on create. Now it's blue that is highlighted. Let's say red is for high priority. So you want to come here and say hi for red and then you click on create. By the way, registration for the next wave of the VA simulation program is open. Make sure to sign up for VAS, the VA simulation program. This is the last wave for 2025. So you want to sign up, okay? If you want to learn high income skills that will help you sign high valued clients, this is not your regular virtual assistant administrative kind of program, no. In this program, you're going to learn different skill sets that you can, you can just choose to monetize one. You can just to choose to niche down on one. For instance, you can choose to say, I want to be a lead generation expert. I want to be a lead generation specialist. And then you focus on that. Yes, I want to be a social media manager. And then you focus on that. So virtual assistance is not about you being a administrative va you can choose to decide you want to be a digital business manager and then you stick to that you learn all of those skills in the va simulation program on vast vast the piece i learned so sign up the link is in the description and in the pinned comment i can't wait to see you inside so let's head back to the video you can choose another color you can say yellow and then you attach the priority you can say low or medium. That's how you create label. So once a virtual assistant or anybody comes and see this, open this and see that, oh, this is high priority. Let's say I listed, for instance, like three tasks here. And then the person sees red on this first one. The assistant is likely to prioritize the one with red label. Or you as the assistant, you're likely, you should prioritize the one with the red label before moving on to the next task. Okay, so that's how you add labels, okay? So assigned the project manager, assigning this to you as a virtual assistant. If, for instance, your boss gives you a task outside of this, you can easily come here and add it under your name, add the task, add the checklist, add the deadline, all right? So that you don't forget. <laughs> so thing you want to do, let's say you are done with the tax. Elizabeth is done drafting the company's profile. You as Elizabeth, you want to move this to ready for review. Now it's here so that the project manager or the your boss can go through it. Your boss now will open your task and check out the things you've done. You've added the one page PDF for the company's profile. Your boss will go through it, and then if the task is okay, the, your boss will then move it from ready for review to 
project completed by themselves or they can just easily tell you send you a message on whatsapp or whatever communication platform you're using and tell you okay the project is cool you can move it to completed and then you move it to self but if there is a comment that is, if there is a glitch or there's an error there's something they need you to correct they can easily come here and write a comment about the project or about the task that you have done Aside that, you as the virtual assistant, if there is something you encounter a problem whilst doing the task, you can easily come here in the description and write something about the task. Let's say there was a checklist that was provided for you to complete or you, you included the checklist yourself. You can just come here and say pending task, right? Let's say writing the short bio is pending. So you can just write it here. Pending task, you bring it here. You can say dash, then you add this here, short bio, right? Just to keep you organized, just so you don't forget important things. So that's it, neighbor. I hope this video was helpful to you. Make sure you drop a comment on where you're watching me from. And if you have any questions at all, I am open to answer them. Drop them in the comments as well. And make sure to sign up for the VA simulation program. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in this video as you learn how to manage projects using Trello as well. I'll see you there.